Hello everyone, this is Mr. Masonette coming at you once again with another online tutorial. We're going to solve a two-step equation. In this equation we have 6 and 1 third times the number x take away 3 is equal to 54. Alright, and the first thing that we want to do is either we have to get rid of the 6 and 1 third or the minus 3. But you can choose which one you want to do first. There is a process to this. You have to get rid of the minus 3 first. When solving for x, you have to do the opposite of the order of operations. So, in this case, instead of multiplying before we subtract, we would actually get rid of all the subtraction before multiplying. Because solving an equation is essentially working backwards, that's why we do the opposite of the order of operations. So, let us get rid of minus 3 first. And we do that by doing the opposite operation. Instead of subtraction, we're going to add 3. But we need to balance our equation. And to balance the equation, we also have to add 3 to the right side of the equation. After you balance your equation, take the equal sign and drop it straight down. Because we have to clearly distinguish be between the left side of the equation and the right side of the equation. Now, opposite integers cancel out to make nothing. And on the left side of the equation, that leaves us with 6 and 1 third x. And on this side, we have 54 plus 3, which is 57. Now, the next thing that we have to do is get x by itself by doing the opposite of 6 and 1 third times x, which is x divided by 6 and 1 third. So what you do to one side of the equal sign, you do to the other. So we have to take 57 and divide that by 6 and 1 third. Now, on the left side of the equation, this cancels out just to make 1. So on the left, we just have 1x. And remember, we must bring down our equal sign. Now here, we have kind of a messy problem to solve. We have 57 divided by 6 and 1 third. But if you follow the procedure correctly, this shouldn't be a problem. So the first thing we want to do is go off to the side here. And we're going to take our numerator of 57, and we're going to divide it by the denominator, which is 6 and 1 third. And of course, you cannot divide a whole number by a mixed number. You have to change them both into fractions. Now, how do you change a whole number into a fraction? That's right, you guessed it. You just take the whole number and you put 1 underneath as the denominator. And then what you're going to do is you're going to rename this mixed number into an improper fraction. Remember, the denominator, which is 3 in this case, is going to stay the same. For the numerator, we're going to take 3 times 6, which is 18, and then you add 1, which makes 19. Now, the next step in this process is we're going to bring down 57 over 1. When you divide fractions, you always take the division sign and change it into multiplication, and you write the reciprocal of 19 over 3, which is 3 over 19. Now, what you do before you go multiplying anything is see if you can reduce anything within the problem. And there actually is a common factor here, and this one is a little harder to see. 19 and 57 share a common factor. And the common factor is 19. 19 fits inside itself once. 19 fits inside 57 exactly three times. Now we're simply going to take 3 times 3, which is equal to 9, and 1 times 1, which is equal to 1. This is an improper fraction, so you simplify, and 9 divided by 1 is 9. And that gives us our answer for this specific two-step equation. If you were stuck during watching this video, just rewind it, hit pause, try to study the tape post so you can be successful at solving two-step equations.